In the next videos, I want to show you how you can make graphs in R. R offers some really powerful graphical functionalities. For example, some of my biostatistician colleagues switch between SAS and R only because of the purpose of the plotting power of R. Basically, there are many different types of plots available in R. And of course, there are many add-on packages for the sole purpose of plotting. For example, you can take a look at the very famous package ggplot2, which was created by Hadley Wickham. This is basically a whole subsystem of plotting within R. Or for example, there is also Plotrix, which can be seen as some kind of add-on to the base plotting devices in R. And we also have Lattice, which is based on the trellis plotting system, but more on those more complicated plotting devices in my graphs course. Since this is just a basics course, I'm focusing on the R base package and on the plotting devices you have at hand within the R base package. The easiest way to do plots would be a simple scatter plot. The command for that is just plot. So let's take a look at our first example. We need some values. We create x and y objects and now we are plotting x and y. So this would be in this case our first output. It is a simple scatter plot with those three values in it. So basically when it comes to our plotting, you have the opportunity to change any single part within this plot on a step by step basis. But in order to be able to do that, you need to know which call to make. And information on that you can find within the graphical parameter section, but more on that a bit later on. So this was a plot where we created the x and y objects first and created this plot. Another and probably more common way is if you would use an already existing dataset. So for example, in this plot down here, we are using the links dataset. And if I'm running this plot, you would see this one over here. This is a typical time series plot. Let's actually use some kind of plotting arguments to play around with that plot and to do some kind of formatting. So for example, what I did in this line down here, I was using the main argument and this actually specified the heading of my plot. I was also using the col argument to specify what color to use for my plot. So lines and points within my plot would now appear in this coloration. I also specified the coloration of the main title. In this case, I was using the number 52. Please note that every color within R has a name and also a number, and there would be also an alphanumeric code but I think name and numbers are easier ways to specify the coloration. And with this argument, cx.main, I was then also specifying the magnification factor of the main title, so to say, the size. There is a whole family of arguments called the cex family, and with this family you can specify nearly all the magnification factors and all the sizes of those different arguments within this plot. Now we can actually take a look at the labs of our plot. So basically it is about those labs and scales on the x and the y axis. In this case I was totally deleting the x labs by specifying x lab equals and empty quotation sign. Another thing I could do is I could change the orientation of those scale values because now we have those kind of preset scale values where we have horizontal scales on the x-axis and vertical scales on the y-axis. The command to change that would be LAS and there is a whole coding system. We have LAS numbers from, from 0 to 3. So let's put it in this case to LAS equals 2. And in this case you would see that now we have it changed to horizontal on the y-axis and to vertical on the x-axis. 
So this is a typical example of the LAS argument and you see this argument quite often. Let's take a closer look at all those options we have to change the orientation of our scale. In order to do that, I'm going to produce a plot so that you can compare all those numbers. So now we can take a brief look at all those LAS configurations we have at hand. Please note that LAS equals 1 would be the default configuration. Most of the time this default configuration works just perfectly fine. But there might be some kind of instances where this kind of orientation would not allow all numbers to appear properly on the scale and in those instances it is recommended to also try probably LAS 0 or 3 for example.